to my channel leave me a comment down below share this video and don't forget to hit the post bells notification so you know when I post another video welcome to my channel you guys guess what today is you guys today is time for the Dollar Tree meal yay I'm so excited I hope you guys really enjoy this video um, today I went to a different location um, I hadn't well I've been to this Dollar Tree maybe a couple of years ago but I'm kind of disappointed it's a lot bigger than my um, the store I usually go to here where I stay but I'm kind of disappointed with this Dollar Tree because not everything was a dollar I mean it's a Dollar Tree it's not the Dollar General okay it's not the family dollar it's a Dollar Tree everything is supposed to be a dollar across the board so they had like laundry detergent and stuff in there for like five dollars three dollars and then like some drinks for like three dollars two dollars I'm like wait what Okay, this is the Dollar Tree. Don't start that, you guys. That's why we love the Dollar Tree. Anywho, you guys, it was a big store, and I did enjoy, um, and they had quite a few things. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Um, Deandra, I gave, um, she received her giveaway. She won the giveaway. So, Deandra, leave me a comment below and let me know the review of the pan and what you think about your pan. And she also got a $25 gift card. So I hope you enjoy that. And thank you so much for entering the contest. Um, and I'm also, probably next week, I'm going to be doing a, cook, a cooking video with uh, the meal of her choice that she put um, in the comments. So you guys stay tuned for that. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. It is freaking hot, you guys. Oh my gosh, I know Texas. I'm allergic to grass, by the way, just to let you guys know that. But for some reason, this grass is like so freaking burnt. It's like yellow. I mean, if some, if, if for the smokers, whoever smokes cigarettes and stuff, please do not throw your cigarettes outside the window because it'll be over with, you guys. Um, but um, it's funny because I don't really break out like I usually do when the grass is like this dead. I guess it's because it's not even really grass anymore. It's like, hey, I don't know what it is. Anywho, but um, it's hot here in Texas, you guys. I'm going to show you the outfit of the day. Miss Tasha, Miss Friend. So here's my outfit of the day. I love you two so much. And Mama Moya. I have quite a few YouTubers that I love now, you guys. Um, but you guys know my favorites. So um, here's my outfit of the day. Nothing special. You guys have probably seen this before. With me, you guys, I don't have a whole lot of clothes that I can fit right now. So you're probably going to see the same outfits a few times. That's why I can't do it every day because you guys will see the same outfits over and over again. So, anywho, here's my outfit of the day. Um, I just put on like a little simple summer dress because it's freaking hot and I got too many rolls um, and I'll sweat too much. But here's my outfit of the day, you guys. It's just a little dress. It's a little shorter in the front and then it's longer in the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, anyhow, it's nothing fancy. I like the colors in it. Um, I like different things, like wild colors. I like to get the stuff that people won't get. I've always been that way. It's kind of weird. When I was a size one, everything, I used to go for everything that people, sorry guys, excuse the jets flying by. It's an Air Force base. Jets, jets, jets. Got to see the jets flying by. Anyways, probably can't see that jet in the sky. 
anyways there's an air force base right here so they're always freaking flying over our heads so anywho so you guys i won't be posting outfit of the day every day you probably get one once a week if that <laughs> and hopefully if the lord's willing if i lose this weight like I, my goal or like i want then i'll be able to fit back into my clothes and do outfit of the day um but it's a little just simple summer dress um anywho you guys i'm gonna go ahead and get started and i hope you guys enjoy this dollar tree meal all right i'll see you guys in a few i'm gonna go ahead and get started so this time i am going to be cooking the marinated chicken fried beef fritter whatever that is you guys um so here it go um they were only a dollar at the dollar tree excuse my nails you guys like always it's time for me to redo my nails Regular polish only lasts about two or three days, so it's time for me to repolish my nails. So I'm sorry, please forgive me. Um, but I'm going to be cooking this. They were a dollar each. Um, so it says to fry them. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up. So I got bought one, two, three, four, five. So I bought like two for each of us um, to eat. And one for me because I'm probably not going to eat more than that. Um, and then I bought some mixed vegetables. And then I bought some mashed potatoes. And then also I got some of the country gravy, which I had already at the house. Um, I got this, I believe, from Walmart. Wally World. So this is the only thing I did not get from the Dollar Tree. But I believe they have this at the Dollar Tree, too. I just couldn't find it today. So, But I got this from Walmart. So I'm going to be cooking that for the gravy for the meat. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I am, you guys, I don't really drink. Um, but today I'm going to have me a glass of wine because I'm off three days and I haven't had, like, alcohol in a long time. Um, not that I need it. I just wanted a glass of wine, you guys. So I got me this wine. And there's nothing wrong with having a glass of wine every once in a while. It's a big bottle. It tastes kind of strong, though. Ugh. See, I'm not really a drinker like that, so I taste too much. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm weak. But it's um, this is what I got, the Barefoot. Um, it's a big bottle, so it'll probably take me mm, all but of a year to drink it. So I'll probably drop this off at my, um, to my brother or at my parents' house. So when they have guests and stuff, they can drink it. Because I'm probably not going to drink this bottle, you guys. Um, anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get set up. And I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright, you guys. So I'm going to open these up. Oh, let me get a knife. I'm going to open these up. And put them in the frying pan. It is so hot, you guys. Whew, Texas weather. If you guys are in a different state... Uh, let me know what state. Leave a comment and let me know where you guys are from and represent. Um, if there's anybody, especially if you're in Texas, let me know. Or any state. Represent where you're from. I'm originally from Florida, but um, unfortunately I don't live in Florida. I live in Texas, so. But Florida will always forever be my home. So I'm putting these in the frying pan. This is how they look. I'm going to take them out. Alright, so I'm going to get those cooking, you guys, and I'll be right back. So this is how they're looking. I got them frying in the pan. I'll let you guys see how they look when they're finished. Alright. I also have my water boiling over here. So I took these out of the um, pan, frying pan, and this is how they came out. So I'm going to foil them, put foil over them, and I have the oven on warm. So I'm just going to stick those in the oven so they stay warm. Um, but they look good. We'll see how they taste. And then for my mashed potatoes... I use only two packages of mashed potatoes and I got those from the Dollar Tree as well, as well as these. 
um, and I just took a stick of butter and a few slices of cheddar cheese salt pepper and then we had a few um, we had some bacon bits like leftover bacon bits it wasn't that much in the package so I just threw those over in there um, but you guys don't have to add that if you don't want to you can follow the, the directions by um, according to the package I just like to beef up my mashed potatoes every once in a while and you know just make it a little different so I did that so I will show you guys um, when I'm finished how it looks alrighty I've got my water boiling it should be done now so I'm gonna mix it up alright you guys so here are my potatoes um, like I said I added some bacon bits some real bacon bits um, a few slices of cheddar cheese salt pepper um, with the water follow the package you guys or I don't follow the package because I'm so used to cooking mashed potatoes so I just go by the feel of it or the look of it taste of it um, but if you want you can go by the package direction um, I basically just use half water and half milk um, to give it that more warm taste um, but they taste delicious yo um, so they look like they look came out really good you guys alrighty Alright you guys, so I finished the mashed potatoes and I finished the meat, so now I'm going to cook my mixed vegetables. Um, I have two packages of these, I only use two packages of the um, mashed potatoes, so it says, I'm going to cook it on the stove top, stove top, I'm sorry, so you can cook it stove top or microwave, so I'm going to cook these on the stove, um, place frozen vegetables in one cup of boiling water, bring back and then okay I guess you let them cook and then bring back to a boil so anyways you guys follow the directions on the bag I'm going to cook two packages of these which I got from the Dollar Tree yeah it's a pretty big size um, it's 14 ounces so I'm going to cook two of these because I'm not going to eat the mashed potatoes I'm only going to eat um, just the vegetables and meat um, alright so I will be back with you guys in a few I'm trying to decide if I want to cook biscuits with it um, I might not, I might say the biscuits because I'm also going to be doing a breakfast special um, and I'm going to show you guys two meals um, that I cook for breakfast, well two of our favorite meals that we cook for breakfast so it'll be two different videos um, which I'm going to record one in the morning so I hope you guys enjoy that so anywho let me get started and I'll be back with you guys in a few alright you guys so here's the final um, results so I did the mixed vegetables, I did the mashed potatoes, and in my mashed potatoes I just went through my fridge and found leftover like um, a small package of real bacon bits that we weren't using um, that needed to be used. And then I, I used a few slices of cheddar cheese, salt, pepper, and butter. And then I did the Dollar Tree, of course, meat. All of this is from the Dollar Tree. The only thing that's not from the Dollar Tree is the, um, this... Uh, country white gravy which I got from Walmart. I only use one package by the way because we're not going to use that much gravy. So um, I'm going to let you guys know uh, what I think. Alright. Alright guys I apologize for the noise in the background. I'm also doing laundry. It is so hot you guys. Um, so I'm going to let you guys know what I think. Let's see. Amen. I fixed the plate so you guys can see, but I'm only going to eat the vegetables and meat, so I'm not going to even eat the mashed potatoes. I did sample them. They taste really, really good. Um, wow. Tastes like, um, what do you call it? Refried steaks or whatever you call it. Anyways, it tastes really good. Um, the only thing that I wish I could have, I did, I didn't realize that I ran out of paper towels or napkins, so I would have let them, um, drain on paper towels to soak up some of the grease, but, um, other than that, it tastes good on a scale from 1 to 10, I would give this maybe like a, a 4, um, it was easy to cook, it didn't take me that long at all, it was a quick meal, um, and I actually like, it's very, um, flavorful. So I like it. Uh, it's worth trying. Um, 
I wish I would have did like macaroni and cheese with it. Mm, that would have been really good. And then maybe some biscuits. But this wasn't supposed to be a hard meal. It's too hot for that. So anyways, you guys, I like it. I give it thumbs up. Um, and it was really good. It's worth trying. So you guys, let me know what you guys think. <coughs> Sorry, oh, the pepper. Let me know what you guys think about this. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. Um, like I say, for those of you who don't know me, um, please, please, thank you for joining me. My name is Tiffany, which I'm pretty sure you know that by now. But um, thank you so much for joining me, everybody, um, and watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below. Share this video and hit the thumbs up button. Oh, and don't forget to hit the post bells notification so you know when I post another video. You guys, it has been such an awesome time. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I enjoy my Dollar Tree meals. It's so fun, like, coming up with different things to cook. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys something before I leave. Um, I love catching sales, although I'm on a strict budget right now. But, you know, $1.50, you guys, I'm pretty sure you got these quarters laying around in your car, under your seat, or something. Um, so I got these this um, necklace from Wally World today and it's only a dollar fifty I really like it it's so freaking cute you guys they had a bunch of different kind let me see if you guys can see that really good they had a bunch of different ones I think it's so pretty um, not all of them have crosses and stuff they have different ones some with flowers and different colors like pinks and um, blues navy blues all different colors it was like maybe 10 different ones hanging up there so you guys if you go to my wally world check out the discount section in the jewelry department and um yeah if you get some let me know you guys uh let me know or which one you decided to get but i absolutely love it i can't wear it to wear it it's not bad for a dollar fifty i know it's not gonna last forever but i love costume jewelry so that's just me I think I love costume jewelry better than I do real jewelry. I don't know. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will be posting a picture of the meal at the end of this video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next Dollar Tree video. I might, my goal is to get up in the morning and record my um, breakfast. I'm going to do like probably two or three uh, videos of what I typically cook for breakfast in the morning to help you guys save some cash. Um, so stay tuned for that, you guys. Stay tuned for Coffee Talk too. I don't know if I'm going to record that. i got three days off, so i probably do Coffee Talk tomorrow, you guys, or before I go back to work. So you guys stay tuned for that. I can't wait to talk about it. Um, anyways, you guys, thank you so much. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next Dollar Tree Mail. Dollar Tree Mail. All right, you guys. See you next time. Peace.